Hey everybody, I'm back, and today I'm going to be showing you a dry ice experiment. Now if you saw my video on how to make bottle rockets, I did it out of that really cool book. Go ahead and check that out, that video out, it'll be in the description. Okay, so what you will need, we're doing a dry ice experiment, which is really awesome. So what you'll need are some safety glasses, just to make sure, so I'm just going to go ahead and put those on. You will also need some dish soap, which I've already poured in here, and some water. You will need a balloon, a glove, some really warm water. Well, not I don't know about really warm, but just some warm water. And then if you see over there, I have a, a nice pitcher. You just get something like that. Fill it with dry ice. Now, um, Dad, where did you get that dry ice from? The grocery store. Yeah, you can just get this dry ice at the grocery store. Now, you need a glove when you handle it because it can be really, it burns your skin if you touch it. But if you have the glove, you'll be fine. And then you see way in there, I have th this, like this, just this plastic tubing attached to it. See, I have right here. You're just going to need to get some of that. Probably at hardware stores, you can get that stuff. But yeah, this is everything you will need. So let me go ahead and... Show you how it works. So first we got to pour some, I already have the dry ice in this container, but you have to pour some warm water in it, probably like halfway full. And you see it produces this really cool reaction of like steam and stuff. So we're just going to fill it up, not that much. So you got this really awesome steam. It's probably good. Now, don't put the container back on it yet. So first we are going to fill a balloon with literally filling a balloon using dry ice. So we're just going to go ahead, see right here, I'm just going to slip the balloon onto the end of the tube, which can be kind of hard because it moves, but... Okay, so I got the balloon on here, just slip it on like that. Now my dad's going to put the container on. And see, it starts inflating immediately. Now you need to see my dad's over there. He has a really tight seal on it. So that it will see the gas that it's producing. It's just like regular steam. It's, yet if we have that drill hold into there. And it's passing through the tube, which we have connected. And it's inflating the balloon. Now it's, this is good. See, it's like releasing this really cool steam. So we're going to be using that in a minute. But you can just go ahead and tie the balloon. And it's heavier than air because look how it just sinks like that. So, but yeah, you can just fill a balloon like that. That's pretty cool. Now we're going to blow bubbles with this stuff. So now that you, since when you have the steam coming out, you just got to get your water, pour it into the bowl that has your dish soap in it. You kind of need a lot of dish soap. I mean, not too horribly much, but quite a bit. And now you need to put the steam tube in just get it coated with and see if you do this it starts bubbling which is awesome but then you can if you get enough you can start making a huge dry ice bubble you see we got that on going on right there that how does it look on there okay okay Good. see we're just like this is awesome and then when it see when it pops it makes it it's it, there's this really cool nice burst of steam and if you pop the balloon that we filled that that steam will come out of it too and I'm getting a pretty big bubble but ooh, awesome and then you see like I said before you can just put it in and it bubbles but yeah that's that's really awesome see there we go and then that's pretty cool but yeah I, I love this experiment so yeah just remember that the glove was for handling the dry ice when you put it in you want to show them the book yeah like i said in my bottle rockets video this is the book fire bubbles exploding toothpaste all this stuff by steve spangler it's it's really awesome it has a bunch of ex science experiments now the actual balloon part wasn't in I, we just discovered that if you put a balloon on there it could do it and then Every once in a while, you're going to need to add more dry ice and more hot water. But just remember that we drilled that hole in there to put this in. 
other than that, it's really awesome. So that was the dry ice experiment with balloons and epic bubbles. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I will see you next time. Peace. Stay tuned.